Okay, so I'm going to show how this Axiom um, display can be jailbroken. So these are little Android kind of boat computers, more or less. Um, and what I've done here is I've just done an update to it. I've reapplied an update where I've patched the update file to include my own SSH key because these have an SSH server by default. So what we need to do is I'm going to connect to Wi-Fi SSH to this and then enable um, Android debugging. So. Um, I'm going to kind of, this is a real lazy video, so I'm just going to pause it here and there to, to show you the important stuff. Okay, so I just set up the Wi-Fi. Um, I just changed it so it's more anonymous here. Uh, but you can see there's the Wi-Fi name, a password. Um, so from the computer, I'm going to connect to this, and then we'll try to SSH in. Okay, so we're connected to the... Um the thing, uh, so there we go, so I'm pinging it. So all we're gonna try to do is SSH um, with an identity file, and that's not right. I have like Axiom. Um, so I had to check what the file I was called. Root at 192.168.0. Four one four three dot one. Um, cool. There we go. Um, so this RK three two eight eight is the device. So um, we can play around with it, but what, all I'm going to do real quick to show you how to install stuff. It's actually easier if we enable USB debugging, um, and so we can do this with just settings. Put uh, what is it? Global. And let me just write this out. Okay, there we go. So I just did these two things. Um, so settings put global development settings enabled one. I don't know if that one's needed, but the settings put global ADB enabled one. Um, so now if we plug in USB, we should be able to use the standard Android tool. So let's try that. So we'll just plug USB in. Which way does this go? 50-50. Maybe the other way. Okay, there we go. And let's check on the... I'm using a VM here, but you can do this on straight windows too. Um, so if we go ADB, I think devices, will that show us? Oh, okay, give it a second. Okay, so there we go. So if ADB is working, if we can connect, it's actually gonna show up as being, uh, being there. So I'm gonna go ADB. Uh, so we're going to install an APK, so let's try installing an app. So um, I just downloaded a calculator app, not feeling very inspired. So if we run this, this is basically going to install this app onto the unit. And what we'll see is that it'll appear in just the rest of the apps. Um, so give it a second. Very unexciting here. Awesome. So that was, it was transferring the data to it um, over USB, and then now it's going to do the install, hopefully. Come on. There we go, success. So let's go look at the, uh, the Raymarine unit, and if we go to apps, what we should see is now there's this calculator, you know, that was not there before, so. There we go. So, uh, kind of a dumb thing to install, but you get the idea. Um, so yeah, that's with, uh, with ADB now. So now that that's enabled, we can just do anything. And that should survive um, power cycles. Oops, come on. Exit. Yes. I need both hands here. Yes. Okay, so actually I just exited. I just needed this hand to get back to the main menu. Um, and, you know, we could just uninstall it as normal now. So yeah, so that bypasses, normally if you try to install an AP, uh, something that's not signed, it's going to complain about that. So um, this way you could install or uninstall anything else you want on your unit. So 
There's more details in the repo. Hopefully that is useful.